Mr. Hector, it's a pleasure to see you. Welcome back to Venice. Thank you, Signor Borosi. Did you come about the figurine? Let me know when you're ready to see it. It looks like a collapsible pole, perhaps a Venetian boat pole. Interesting piece. I'd like to take this boat pole. Can you put it on my account? Of course. This Venetian necklace looks similar to the one Signora Felloni wore in her younger days. I think this one is worth a purchase. I'd like to buy this necklace. Certainly. Let me get that for you. Shall I put it on your account? Please. There you are. You have a good eye, as always, Mr. Rector. Signor Borosi, might I have a word? How can I help you, Mr. Rector? How is the antique business in Venice these days? Uh, how good can it be with this global recession? Italy is drowning in debt, and the protesters keep even the tourists away. In all honesty, I have never seen conditions so desperate. Fortunately, there's always a market for luxury items. The rich get richer even in a downturn. How can you say so? The EU is about to collapse. There are terrible days ahead for everyone. Uh, I don't believe it's as bad as all that. The press love to fear monger. I am afraid it is that bad. Unless we can find some brilliant leadership to steer the world out of this mess, things look very black. Well, I hope I am standing here in a year, and you can tell me you were wrong. So do I. Did you know Bianca Condolo? Why, yes. That is, I knew who she was. She even came into the shop one time. Her murder is... incomprehensible. I'm looking for information about her. I didn't know her personally, but I'll tell you what I can. What do you want to know? Tell me about Bianca Condolo's family. Ah, uh, well, you know I love Italian history. Her father... Senor Antonio Savoy is from two of the most noble Italian families, the Savoys and the Capetians. The Savoys, as you know, were the royal family in Italy up until World War II. Interesting. Tell me about Bianca Cardello's husband. Dante Cardolo. You know, he is from the Capetian family, just like Bianca's father. But they are distant cousins. He was very popular in Venice. He could have gone far in politics. But his support of the EU at any cost has the common people very angry. Only time will tell if his political career survives. If indeed Italy survives. Thank you for the information. Was Bianca Cardolo wealthy? Oh, yes. Both her birth family and her husband's family are extremely wealthy. There's no doubt about that. I see. It's none of my business, but why are you interested in Bianca Cardolo? Her story caught my eye, that's all. I can't blame you. It is a terrible thing. Oh, Mr. Rector, such a crime does nothing to help the city's morale. We could all use some good news, eh? If you learn anything new about Bianca Cardolo, please contact me. Absolutely. I would be happy to. I'd like to see the figurine you mentioned in your letter. See, si, see, si. Here it is. Take all the time you need. I hope you'll find it to your liking. I know your taste is excellent. We'll see. That's all for now. Thank you. As you wish.
the figurine is an excellent find, Signor Baruzzi. It's a 12th century Lewis Chessman piece. The British Museum and the Museum of Scotland each have part of the collection, so we might be able to get them to bid against each other. Marvelous. Can I assume our usual split? Of course. Oh, that is good news. Should I have it sent to your store in Manhattan? Please do. Oh, and ensure the hell out of it. Of course. Thank you. I'm not ashamed to say I will be glad for the money. I have a feeling this brass hook dropped from Bianca's purse. I'll take it with me. Signora Felloni, I was so struck by your elegance during our earlier conversation. I saw this in a shop today, and for some reason had the idea that it must be worn by you and no oh, other. Oh, Signore, how could you have known? Eh? I had a similar necklace that I wore for many years, but uh, recently, well, I was forced to part with it. I shouldn't accept it, but... It has been years since I've received tokens from such a handsome young man, eh? How can I refuse? Mille grazie, signore. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I'm sorry to trouble you with a distressing subject, signore, but may I ask you about the night of the murder? <gasps> I really don't want to talk about that. I'm frightened. Of course you are. Who wouldn't be? But I'm not the police, and this information is not for the courts. It will stay between you and me. Well... A musician like yourself? Your ears are very keen. Yes. I heard a scream, as if her mouth was covered by a hand. You looked out the window. What did you see? There were two men. All in black. Slender. Small. Did you see their faces? No! Their heads, their faces. They were covered in black, as if they were in a play. I swear. Oh, perhaps I've been foolish. I should have stayed quiet. I... I must go. Thank you for the necklace. Signora. They look like drawers, but they're decorative. They don't actually open. Ah, and there we have it.
prescription cream for plaque psoriasis has Bianca's name on it. Let's see who Bianca was talking to. I need to find out who Gabriella is. I'll put this in my phone's contacts. speaking with Gabriella? See, si, this is Gabriella Spira. Who is this? I'm calling about Bianca Cardolo. I found your number on her phone. I thought someone might be calling me. Are you with the police? I'm an independent investigator. May we meet? I work near the Doji Palace. There's a cafe on the north side of the plaza. Can you meet me there? Yes, I'll see you soon. Are you Gabriella Spira? Si, Senor Hector. You're investigating Bianca's death? That's right. May I? Please, sit down. About Bianca? Yes. Tell me about Bianca's family. She came from a very important family. Her father is Antonio Savoy. Her mother's father, he was a highly respected magistrate in Venice. Not just anyone can be friends with someone like that. Her family was very, um, protective of Bianca, but they were very fond of me. Tell me about Bianca. Mm, she adored the music. She loved to go to concerts. And she loved to dance. She continued to dance after she married Dante Cardolo? Yes, but she only went to the studio to practice when no one else was there. How did you meet Bianca? We were in the same dance company. Do you know, we were rivals at first, but I came to love Bianca like a sister. I can't believe she's dead, and to die in such a way... It's horrible. It certainly is. I'm sorry for your loss. Do you have any idea who might have killed Bianca? No, everyone loved her. She was very sweet, especially when you consider the importance of her family and all her money. She was not vain at all. He must have been, how do you call it, a serial killer. Random. Yes, that's likely. What's the name of your dance studio? I'd like to look up some of your performances. Would you? I'm so flattered. We have a recital next week. It's La Compagnia Venezia. Excellent. I'll look it up. Two beautiful young women, best of friends. You knew Bianca better than anyone else, didn't you? Well, I was her dearest friend. Bianca trusted me with her life. And with her secrets? What did you know about Bianca that most people did not? It wasn't anything she told me, but Bianca was very um, worried about her looks. She was not confident. 
Was there something specific about Bianca's looks that she didn't like? Oh, I don't know. You know how women are. The slightest flow. I really don't think Bianca would wish me to speak of it. But I can tell you this. If she'd had more confidence, Bianca could have gone far. Perhaps become the wife of the Prime Minister one day. As it was, she was content to marry Dante and stay in Venice. Tell me about Dante Cardolo, Bianca's husband. She was very happy with Dante. It was her dream to marry a politician. And, well, she liked the attention of the press. Tell me about Bianca's son. Paolo. Oh, what a beautiful boy. She adored him, of course. She didn't mind? Having a child while she herself was so young. Not Bianca. She loved it. In fact, she was expecting another child when she died. Did you say Bianca was pregnant when she died? You didn't know. Oh, now I... I don't know if the family would approve of me saying so. It's quite all right. I won't tell anyone. How far along was she? About uh, three months. The test said he was a girl. She was so excited. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Sometimes it all becomes too real. I apologize for upsetting you. I think that's all the questions I have. Thank you for meeting me, Signorina Spira. Grazie. If there's anything more I can do for you, please call. I will. Arrivederci.